What is up my rebels? Today we're going to be talking about our predictions for day 2 of the Olympic men's freestyle and we're going to talk about weight classes 74 kgs and 125 kgs. Let's go into the video. Before we start this video, make sure you guys check out my boy Apex Wrestling Highlights. Get him to 2k. He posts the best wrestling highlights on YouTube. First off, starting at 74 kgs, we have Kyle Daiku representing the USA and his first match is against Iranians. Uh, Mustafa, who is a guy who got third in 2016 at the World Championships, and will be a good opponent for Kyle Dake. But Jordan Burroughs does have a win over him in 2018. It was pretty close though, it was 4 to 3. But seeing as Kyle Dake has proven he's a better wrestler between himself and Jordan Burroughs, especially this year, uh, Kyle Dake should be the favorite here to win and move on to the quarters. And then in the quarters, he'll be up against a Belarusian, a guy who's never medaled at Worlds before, but was a 2020 European gold medalist and is the only Olympian. In the bracket to have a win over Zarbek Sitikov. So a pretty, pretty tough guy who actually beat Sitikov at the 2017 Russian Nationals. But Kyle Dake will again be the favorite here seeing as how good of a run he's had in freestyle circuit in the past few months. All right, now in the semifinals, Kyle Dake will most likely see Frank Chimizo of Italy. And last time these guys wrestled, Dake actually did win. It was last summer and he won four to three in a very close matchup, but it was at 79 kgs. But seeing as how good Kyle Dake's got in the recent months in the run, which I was talking about earlier, should be another win for Kyle Dake here against Frank Chimizo, especially since Jordan Burroughs had a very close match with him this year at the Pelicone, I believe. But but then in the finals, Dick will probably go up against uh, Zarbek Sitikov, who will probably be unchallenged to go to the finals. Doesn't have a lot of competition, has a very favorable draw, but it'll be a very, very good match to watch between these guys. Uh, Sitikov hasn't wrestled a lot of tough guys in this bracket, and he's pretty much going to be fresh. He'll probably tech his way through the whole entire tournament. So it's going to be very close, but I think Dake has a chance to win, but seeing as how favorable Sitikov's draw is, I have him winning the Olympic gold at 74 kg. All right, then at 125 kgs, our rep here is Gable Stevenson, and his first match is going to be up against a guy from Kyrgyzstan. Uh, his name's Lazarev. Pretty good wrestler, but Gable will be the big favorite here as Lazarev took silver at the Asian Olympics this year, but is only ranked 11th out of the top 16 qualifiers at 125 kgs. Now, after his opener, Gable will have the reigning Olympic champion and two-time world champion uh, Taha Akul of Turkey. But if he somehow wins against him, he'll have uh, another wrestler who's very tough uh, from Belarus. He's currently ranked number four in the world. So two tough matches if Gable does win that quarterfinal match. But seeing as it's the Olympic champion, uh, Turkish wrestler, really, really good at this weight class. Don't really see Gable moving on. On the other side of the bracket, it'll probably be Three-time world gold medalist uh, Petrishvili uh, from Georgia, who will most likely make the finals and then meet the Turkish wrestler. So that will most likely be the 125-pound final. But if Gable somehow does get a few upsets in the quarters and the semis, I uh, could probably beat Petrishvili in the finals. Grab our video for today, talking about 74 kgs and 125 kg predictions for day two of the Olympic wrestling games. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and stuff more wrestling content like this. Peace.